Uh, we're fixing our launch issues and our quality issues, and we're aggressively moving into battery electric. This, this announcement, we think, will really help our EV customers have a, a much better experience. Ford recently signed an agreement to use Tesla's charging infrastructure, and it is a great move for Ford customers. But imagine you didn't need to stop to charge your EV. Your electric car just charged itself as it drove along. That's what Ford has in mind for their new charging infrastructure that the company just filed a patent for. Ford's idea for charging EVs is a new way of thinking about charging, and if they can pull it off, it could change the way we charge EVs forever. Join us as we take a look at this new insane charging innovation from Ford Motor. So, Ford has an idea to make charging easier and faster for EVs, and they have now applied for a patent in the United States to protect their idea. Now, is this idea feasible remains to be seen, but the fact is that it is a very interesting idea. The idea is to use a technology called wireless inductive charging. The technology can transfer electricity from one place to another without using wires or cables. It works by using coils that create magnetic fields. One coil is called the transmitter, and the other is called the receiver. The transmitter coil is connected to a power source, and the receiver coil is connected to a battery. While inductive charging has previously been employed for stationary EV charging, Ford's patent application seeks to leverage this concept for charging EVs that are actively moving. Ford wants to use this technology to charge EVs while they are driving on the road. They want to put transmitter coils under the road surface and receiver coils under the car. As the car drives over the road, the coils would line up and send electricity to the car's battery. This way, the car would not have to stop at a charging station or plug into an outlet. There are many challenges with this idea. One of them is, the coils have to be aligned well for the electricity transfer to be efficient. If the coils are not aligned, the electricity transfer will be weak or interrupted. However, Ford's patent application describes how they would solve this problem. They would use sensors and cameras to monitor the position of the coils and adjust them as needed. They would also use software and communication systems to control the power flow and prevent interference. The intention is to ensure that vehicles are optimally positioned for effective charging. However, to counteract any potential misalignment complications that may arise, Ford is championing the incorporation of something they call a ground-penetrating radar. The fundamental idea behind this radar system is to equip vehicles with the ability to penetrate the ground surface, a seemingly futuristic concept that could have substantial implications for the practicality and efficiency of wireless charging. By employing this radar system, vehicles would be able to accurately locate and align themselves with the strategically positioned charging coils, thereby streamlining and optimizing the entire charging process. It is important to understand that while attempts have been made in the past to facilitate wireless charging while a vehicle is in motion, Ford's novel radar-based approach has the potential to markedly improve the reliability and efficacy of this technology. The concept of wireless electrical energy transfer was first envisioned by the brilliant mind of Nikola Tesla back in 1896. Tesla's revolutionary idea drew inspiration from the functioning principle of transformers and hinged upon the fundamental laws of magnetic induction. The intricacies of his theory have paved the way for modern wireless charging technology as we know it today. The mechanism behind wireless charging is similar to the operation of a transformer. It involves two essential circuits, the primary circuit, known as the transmitter, and the secondary circuit, referred to as the receiver. The transmitter generates a dynamic magnetic field, one that is constantly changing with time. This magnetic field, in turn, is intercepted by the receiver circuit, which is typically linked to the electronic device that requires powering. Two critical factors come into play when setting up a wireless charging system the spatial separation between the transmitter and the receiver, and the precise alignment of these components. The efficiency of energy transfer is greatly affected by these considerations. If the alignment is poor or the distance between the transmitter and receiver is substantial, the efficiency of energy transfer is compromised, resulting in a less effective charging process. Magnetic induction charging, a popular method of wireless energy transfer, employs the interaction between two flat pads. One pad is situated on the ground, while the other is positioned beneath the vehicle. 
the ground pad covers an area of about one square meter, whereas the vehicle-mounted pad is integrated within a compact device. Beyond the vehicle pad, the system necessitates the presence of an induction charging station to complete the circuit. In the context of a vehicle, the receiver compromises a specialized receiving coil installed on the underside of the automobile. Conversely, the road surface contains multiple embedded coils, which function as transmitters. These transmitters are responsible for receiving electrical energy and generating a corresponding magnetic field. When these coils in the road are supplied with electric current, they generate a magnetic field, which in turn is captured by the receiver coil beneath the vehicle. The receiver coil then transforms this magnetic energy back into electrical energy, a process that subsequently charges the battery responsible for powering the vehicle's motor. This kind of charging will eliminate the hassle of plugging and unplugging the car, which can be especially helpful for people with disabilities or mobility issues. Wireless charging also enables short-duration charging opportunities, such as at traffic lights or parking lots, which can add range and reduce range anxiety. It could also make EVs more attractive and competitive in the market, as it offers a novel and convenient way of recharging. Wireless charging can also increase the adoption of EVs, which can help improve the environment and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. However, the truth is that the realization of such an ambitious undertaking would mean a significant investment in terms of infrastructure development. To accommodate the operation of the radar system and its associated benefits, Ford would need to modify all the roads in the country. This presents a multifaceted challenge that involves not only the technological aspects of integrating the radar into vehicles, but also the intricate process of identifying suitable roadways for its deployment. It is worth noting that in 2017, Renault and Qualcomm claimed to have charged a car wirelessly at 60 miles per hour on a test track, and in 2020, electric trucks were successfully charged while driving down a short stretch of road in Sweden. Ford's patent application indicates the company's ongoing exploration of technologies to enhance the convenience and accessibility of EV charging. Andy Wilson, Director of Business Development at United SIC, has an interesting idea about the early users of wireless charging. He believes that the initial adapters of this technology will be companies that operate commercial vehicles like buses, delivery trucks, and taxis. These businesses are looking at wireless charging as a smart solution to quickly add energy to their vehicles and extend their travel distance, all without the need for traditional plug-in charging. Unlike the lower power levels needed for standard residential wireless charging that can happen overnight, commercial supplemental charging demands a much higher power transmission capability. This requirement becomes even more crucial when considering the relatively short duration of these charging sessions. To meet the demands of high-power commercial charging, the technology behind wireless charging must enable resonant magnetic induction at a relatively high frequency. This is where the concept of faster switching devices comes into play. In simple terms, the electronic components involved in wireless charging must be able to switch on and off rapidly to facilitate this high-power, high-frequency charging process. Interestingly, Andy Wilson points out that utilizing wide-band gap semiconductor devices aligns perfectly with the needs of commercial wireless charging. These semiconductor devices have inherent strengths that align well with the demands of the commercial vehicle charging landscape. To make wireless charging of batteries available everywhere for everyone, we need to create a network of special charging stations. These stations would have plates in the road that do the charging using induction technology. This type of charging while driving is a really good option for electric vehicles. Right now, one thing we know for sure is that the number of fast charging stations is getting bigger all the time. This means it will keep getting easier to charge electric cars as new and better charging options come up. A company called Electrion Wireless from Israel has been working on wireless charging while driving for a while. In the next few months, they're going to put special charging plates on about two kilometers of road. This will let an electric bus charge its battery while driving on the road. This is a big step in making wireless charging on the road a real thing that lots of vehicles can use. It remains to be seen how Ford intends to execute its own plans. Do you think Ford will be able to pull this off? Let us know down in the comments section.